If you enjoy the video and my content, please consider supporting my channel over on Patreon at patreon.com slash katiedidart. Thanks so much! Wahaha! <laughs> Welcome back to Inktober 2018. Today we're going to be doing the compliment of yesterday's piece, and that is going to be Moon. And again, just like yesterday's piece, I will be drawing another tarot card um, featuring the moon, obviously. So with this one, again, I decided to outline the whole piece in just um, simple lining, no uh, line width or anything. Honestly, I don't really like lining with uh, line width. It's just because I'm lazy, to be 100% honest. There's really no reason for me to uh, not do it because I do like the look of it. I'm just super lazy. Another reason though is because I was referencing some really old tarot cards and I really like the simplistic look of them and so I decided to kind of keep mine really simple with just simple lines and stuff like that. Um, I initially was not going to do tarot for these. I had a little idea in my head and when it came down to executing the idea, I flaked. <laughs> I kind of freaked out a little bit and I was like, you know what, let's just do something simple. <laughs> Uh, so I am blocking in the block letters and I'm really terrible at block letters. I, a lot of people will like make a little grid so they can get them all accurate and stuff. And then some people are just really good at them without it, but I suck at it <laughs> and I, uh, I have no like delusions in my head. I know that I suck at it. So anyway, um, there is a topic I want to talk about and I will talk about it later in the video, but before I talk about this topic, I do want to let you all know that I am making an Inktober 2018 art book and if you're interested in this lovely lady or any of my other Inktober pieces in that book, um, there will be a link on the screen to where you can go pre-order it. I will also have um, acrylic pens available for pre-order. So these are like enamel pens, but they are made out of acrylic and they're going to be about 35 millimeters tall, which is roughly an inch and a quarter. So they're going to be kind of, not huge, but they're going to be a good size. And um, I have some fun ones. I've got a witch, a ghost, a vampire, a mermaid, and a tentacle heart. So if you're interested in any of those things that I just mentioned, again, there will be a link on the screen. Right now, until October 30th, you will be getting a discounted price and some lovely pre-order bonuses, and I will insert some pictures. I just finished the pre-order bonuses for the, um, the pins, and I'm really excited about them. So if you're interested in those, again, link will be on the screen. So now that I have, I think, finished the line art, um, well, I'm adding the border to the tarot card now, I'm going to go in with flat washes of ink. I tried to do as little shading as possible just because I wanted to keep this as simplistic as possible. So, you know, I didn't really want to uh, go in with heavy shading and detailing. And, I, you know, I kind of did some of that in the other pieces and I thought it would break up some of the monotony of me shading every piece and just do something with flat washes. I did shade like small areas like the moon, but there it's, yeah, it's so minute that it's not that big of a deal. So I'm coloring in the background first with my favorite ink color literally ever, which is this Liquitex muted gray. Absolutely love their muted um, colors. I only own two of them, however, so I'm eventually gonna get the rest of them though because their muted collection is just gorgeous. So, now I want to talk about that topic I mentioned to you earlier, and the topic that I want to talk about today is being scared of an illustration or just doing something simple um, pretty much in place of what you were scared of, and that's kind of what I did with these two pieces. So, for the pieces I had in mind for these other two pieces, they were going to be quite elaborate and they were going to be basically wild swamp women involving the sun and the moon and in my head it was a lot more complex and I, I got scared off by it. And I don't regret doing the tarot cards because I actually, I'm kind of glad I decided to do them because I do really like them. But in hindsight, you know, it would have been fun to test my limits with detail and stuff instead of kind of defaulting back to something simple like we all know I'm good for. Um, but the other side of that coin is don't be scared to do something simple, especially when you're doing a monthly challenge like this. Um, you are, you're going to be doing a lot of drawings and props to the people who can actually pull out a super detailed piece every single day 
girl, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I, you know, I can only do so much and sometimes I have to sit down and do a simple piece. I have to do something that I can't put a lot of time and effort into and a lot of these pieces in my Inktober art book, in my Inktober 2018 like pieces, um, they're all done under an hour and that was kind of my goal is to do everything under an hour, um, under 45 minutes if possible just so I can move on with my day and kind of go with it. And there are some pieces in, you know, my Inktober that I'm, they're not my favorite, but there are some pieces in Inktober that I just love and I'm so happy that I decided to go simple or go detailed a little bit and I am happy I took the push for doing all of these. Now that isn't to say you should push yourself every single day because if you push yourself to the brink of burnout and being stressed all the time, and I'm talking to myself here, <laughs> um, you're going to regret it and you're just going to want to be a little blob and do absolutely nothing. And see, here's my thing. If pushing yourself to an extent is good, but if you're pushing yourself to like learn a new medium or get better at something and you're pushing yourself too hard, it's going to have the adverse effect and you're not going to want to do it anymore and you're going to feel like um, it's it's going to feel like more work than it should, if that makes any sense. Um, you're going to feel um, like you don't want to come back to it and you want to do something that's in your wheelhouse. So there is a very fine line between pushing yourself for self-improvement and pushing yourself too much to where you don't even want to come back to whatever it is that you're pushing yourself into. And I'm a thousand percent talking to myself with that because I think I bit off a little more than I could chew, especially with doing, you know, daily videos for Inktober. And not that I'm upset about it because I love doing it. It was so fun to produce a video every single day. And, and obviously we still have many more days to go. Um, and it was so fun to kind of start ahead and plan my pieces and go with the theme. It was really fun. But I think in hindsight, and probably for next year, I either won't do daily videos every single day. I'm pretty sure about that one. Um, and heck, I might not even do any videos on them at all outside of maybe like art boxes that if they send me an Inktober theme, like, you know, art snacks or palatful packs. And I was just thinking about, I don't know, maybe just doing Inktober on my own terms and then posting them to social media but not to my youtube channel and i don't know if that makes sense and again it, it's a year away i might my mind might change who knows but at the time being i i did daily videos last year too and it was still stressful <laughs> and as the month went on i started sacrificing quality for quantity and that's not ever a good thing. And actually, there are some pieces in this Inktober I feel like I've sacrificed a little bit of that. And it's never a good feeling. So my advice to you is don't push yourself too much. Push yourself a little bit because obviously we have to learn and grow and that's the only way to do it. So push yourself a little bit. But if you feel like you want to cry because <laughs> you're stressing yourself out too much or you just feel like giving up, you're, you're doing it way too much take a break, go play a video game, watch a movie, do something you really enjoy. Um, or if it's just art related, do something you enjoy that way. So like, um, yeah, draw something you really like that's not pushing yourself out of your comfort zone for a while and then go back to the thing you're pushing yourself for, if that makes any sense. But honestly, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> art is such a balance. It really is because it's a balance between pushing yourself and not pushing yourself enough and pushing yourself too much. It's like a very fine line. So you have to find that balance. And welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> what am I saying? Ugh. So anyway, now that the piece is pretty much done <laughs> and I've talked throughout the whole piece. Yeah, um, thank you for watching. I'm adding in some stars, which is literally the most fun piece part of this piece. Hello, cat. No, no, you're interrupting. No, I love you. Bye. Ow. Anyway, I decided to add stars to the background just so it wasn't so plain, and we're going to be <laughs> taking a look at the final piece in just a moment. I do want to thank you all so incredibly much for sticking around and watching this, um, especially if you listen to my whole spiel. <laughs> uh, you all are super amazing, and I just wish you the best of luck in your art journey, so... 
Yeah, if you're still doing Inktober, don't forget to use the hashtag Swidoodling with Katie over on Instagram and Twitter so I can see it. If you're posting that on Twitter, though, also tag me so I can see it um, because I can't track tags on Twitter, at least not that I know of. If I can and I'm stupid, I will figure it out, I guess. If you watched this far in the video, comment awoo <laughs> because why not, right? Here's a look at the final piece. Thank you all so much for watching as always. If you're new here and you're not a part of our cute squid pod, there's a subscribe button down below. I also have social media in the description below if you want to follow me and follow when I post pieces and stuff. And until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!